welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm elena and today i'm going to be showing you guys a full walkthrough tutorial of horse life and of course before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss out when i post and without further ado let's get into the video now i know a lot of people were struggling on how to find the game in the first place so i'm going to be showing you guys how to find horse life and how to be able to get access to join so basically all you have to do is type in horse life and this is what pops up it's this one right here and it might say you don't have access so as you see in the description and in the description it says join the sonar studio group for access and another thing i do want to make sure you guys know is that since the game is still in alpha um which is like it's really really in the early stages of everything um the data will be wiped upon full release meaning everything that you get in the game will reset when the game releases but i think we have a pretty good time until it resets but either way the game is so amazing but either way the game is so amazing and even if your data will wipe, I think the game is so fun to check out right now. But anyways, basically to join the Sonar Studio group, you scroll down and it should be right here, Sonar Studios as the developer. And when you click on that, you would be able to, um, it's not popping up, but it would show the group right there. And then you click join if you haven't already. And this game has so much to it. There is so many different unique horse coats. Um, there is so much that you can do. I love the breeding system because, like, you can get so many different unique coats. There's, like, ones that um, have, like, pink. There's ones that have peach. There's orange. They are so cool. So here's my horses. I deleted my starter horse, but I do have a couple of other horses as you see. So basically, I will be showing you guys how to find the gargoyles as well as the unicorns, but that'll be later in the video. As right now, we are just starting out with the walkthrough. So the very first thing about this walkthrough is you're going to need some food as well as some lassos. Now, if you don't have any, um, coins as of right now you could either sell one of your horses or you can go around get food tame a horse with food and then sell that horse but if you don't want to go through the hassle you can just buy a lasso if you have enough for one so i'm going to do that right now so there is material for building and other stuff but since the game is still new there isn't a description for anything but there is the stats for the lassos. So if you want to go to lassos, you go to gear. And depending on which one, like, you know, this is how you could tame different horses. Unicorn is these ones, or you can use food. And the stone and overgrown lasso is for the gargoyle. But as you see, they're really expensive. So I just get this one for 250 And I bought three. So now I can go tame a horse. You can also tame the unicorns and gargoyles with food if you don't have the special lasso. So to get food, you just click, go around and click on whatever thing is glowing. And they're called the nodes. And you click on them and your horse will break them. And then you get cool food. Um, different foods give you different countdowns. So as you see right here, this horse is going to have a full. Now before that, there's a timer for how long it will take for the full and usually it's around five hours which is a pretty long time but you can feed your horses different foods to make the countdown go by faster it's right here called skip gestation and basically there's different timers this one does 22 the rarer the food the more minutes it will take off as you see the oat treats do 30 these do 20 22 and so forth but i accidentally um made this one breed with another horse i didn't mean to make it do that but i accidentally clicked the wrong button i was trying to click cancel but i guess we'll see what horse we get 
and we got a unicorn and it looks like it has like a brown tail hmm that's pretty cool i guess we could keep it go around and see if we could catch any horses i also do want to say the more stuff that you break the more bushes nodes whatever you call them the more that you break and also the more jumps that you do with your horses the more xp and you know improvement it will have as you see you can jump here and i get xp for jumping and Basically, if you want to check what level you are, it's kind of difficult right now for mobile since uh, the UI is kind of zoomed in, but I'm sure it will be fixed in the future. But I found out if you click like around on the side, like just randomly, it'll like change the tab. So this tab has where all of the coats are. This tab is the regular one. And down here is where you can find what level your horse is at different things. And the more levels you get, the faster your horse will run, the higher your horse will jump, and, you know, the faster it will break nodes. Um, my gargoyles, since I had them equipped for a while now, they can break stuff really quickly. But compared to my newer horses, as well as these unicorns, they don't break as fast. There are some wild horses, so we're just going to catch one just to show how it would be. So we're going to take out the lasso, aim near the horse, and click and we got one heart on it and then we're gonna click again wait for the timer and click again and that's how you catch a horse with a lasso now depending on what horse you're looking for or what coats you want specifically you can either keep or sell the horse i'm going to sell it because i don't really need another horse um like i'm looking for like coats that are like pink or peach and those are through breeding, so I need to keep my inventory for breeding. And we're also going to try to tame the horse with food, just so you can see how that works. So you got to take out your apple. I recommend not sprinting towards it. I think if you just sneak up to it. Oh, somebody startled it. So you sneak up on it, and then you click that. And there's a spinner. It might be a little difficult, you just have to make sure you time it perfectly, and it's pretty easy. Now, if you're trying to catch a rare horse with food, it does take a little more skill, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, as Like if you're catching a unicorn or a gargoyle, the spinner goes really quickly. The next thing in the walkthrough I will be showing you guys is how to find the unicorns and the gargoyles. So, without further ado, let's go to those locations. So, the first location for the unicorn is around over here. I found mine running up a mountain, but they also are usually near the beach. They might not be on the beach, but they might spawn right next to it. Um, for the gargoyles, they definitely spawn up here in the hills, usually around the stone structures. They can spawn really anywhere, but... As long as you're checking out everything on the map and exploring, I'm sure you'll find a gargoyle or unicorn in no time. I think this is a nice spot to try to breed some horses. Basically, it's not too difficult. If you're going for a specific coat, I'm not really sure how to get those, but I can show you how the breeding system works and Pretty much it's not difficult so first we're going to pick out what horses we want to breed together um maybe this one and we need a girl horse Ooh, maybe we could do these two and if you want to see what the horse could possibly look like you can click predict now doing this doesn't guarantee you'll get that horse it just shows you what the options could be but it's randomized, so you might not get that horse that you predicted. So here's the first one. Pretty cute. Um, let's keep looking. Ooh. And I know that they're going to be random either way. But I like just scrolling through everything and looking. Ooh, that's super cute.
and once you're done just scrolling through everything you just click on breed and you click on whichever one has the child so we're gonna unequip that one scroll down until we find the one which is this one as you see it says five hours and if you don't want to wait five hours um you can skip it basically just take out whatever food you have and feed the horse and as you see it takes off time and these are so helpful because sometimes you don't want to wait that long or if you're impatient like me you would want to see what the horse will come out looking like so we're going to skip the time and i'm going to speed this up since it's going to take me a little bit to feed all of the food that i have so let's start speeding this up And as you see, it's ready. If you don't know that it's ready, you could either check here or you could see the heart moving with the horse on it. So we're going to click claim child now. We get three, two, one. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. Here's the information on it. And you could either click keep or you could sell. I'm going to sell the horse. Sorry. But um, I'm really looking for like specific coats. I really, really, really want to either get a peach coat or maybe like a pink one. Oh my gosh. This game is so much fun. I definitely recommend trying it out if you haven't already. It's still in the early, early process of being made. So, of course, this isn't the final game. But whenever there is the final release, probably in a couple of months or years, we don't really know. But whenever there is the release, I will be making another video and another walkthrough but this is just one for the game right now like i said in the beginning of the video your data will be wiped upon release um so yeah i can't wait to play with all of you guys i'm definitely going to be doing live streams of the game it's going to be so much fun but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it found it helpful in any way comment down below like and subscribe and go check out the game and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, my angels.